Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you my bouncer project for the WWDC 23 Swift Student Challenge and it's actually based on a university coursework I did about um, solid mechanics and projectile motion but this is going to convert it into AR. So I've opened the app up here in Swift Playgrounds so you can see um, we're actually in the same room where this video is recorded and there's an experiment set up here and um, it tracked the motion of the ball coming out of this experiment. And I'll skip through here so you can just see, you can see it does it at different angles. Um, I think there's a nice video of me putting it in the pipe so you can see me dropping the ball in and it falls out. And the aim of this model was to 3D map the motion of the ball um, using the kind of parameters of the experiment, which we can see a bit more about on the next slide. Um, so you can see here the actual setup that was used. And then what we often do in mechanics is we simplify it down into kind of diagrams. So I did that. And then we've also used a few symbols. This is quite advanced, so I put it in a disclosure group, so you don't need to worry about it too much. And then um, you can see here there's actually a 3D scene kit simulation um, of the experiment. And the really cool part about it is, is that you can actually change these parameters and it will update in real time. So you can see here, I can kind of pan around, zoom out. See, this also, the ball speed matches like what it would be in real life. You've got a swift chart as well, which is released at WWDC 22. Um, so yeah, that's all very cool. And then we can apply it in practice using this mini game called Tilt Bounce, which is really fun. Um, you've got this kind of setup of the model in real life and you can tilt your iPad and then be able to kind of put the ball in the red objective tube. So it's kind of a fun mini game and it's kind of showing that as you tilt the iPad, um, you're going to have a different effect on the distance of the ball. And it's not quite what you'd expect. So 45 degrees is going to make you go the maximum. I only got six points there. My average is eight. We can have another go. Um, but you can see that as I tilt down, it goes down. But as I tilt up a bit more, it's actually going to go down further. So it's not quite how you would expect um, maybe a traditional control to work. And that's because of projectile motion and how the ball acts under gravity. Um, and that's all being modelled with this kind of simulation. You can see we've got some nice animations using scene kit when you score a point. Um, there's a timer which goes down every time you score a point as well. Um, it's kind of matching the distances up. And I've got nine that time, which is a bit better. But anyway, moving on. So you've also got um, the energy balance um, explanation, so how we work out the distance in the tube. I won't go into too much detail. You can see it here. I'm going to open source all the code so you can see it on GitHub after the challenge submission deadline. There's also a quiz at the bottom with like nicer numbers and nice diagrams explaining it. Um, it's all very similar, all quite interactive, and then more explanation about how the different topics work. Now, the other really cool thing here is the, it actually shows you the parametric equation that I use to do these cool graphic here. So the green bit and the um, blue bit, obviously you can see they're curved parabolas. Um, I actually use some parametric equations, which means I can change the values within the equation to modify the curve to make it match what it would be in real life. Um, and also, if you've got a quiz question one, it's going to offer you guidance about how you could improve. Um, so it's telling you here you need to think about the trigonometry and actually it's the vertical component. Also explains the coefficient of restitution, which is a, quite an advanced topic used at university. And then you kind of answer more questions about that. And then you've got another example of kinematic equations and it kind of teaches you some shortcuts like doubling the time for a symmetric parabola. And that comes to the answer that it's perfectly symmetric. And you've got um, the assumptions as well that we're using. So how we come to these calculations. And then we've got the fun part, which is what was used for the actual experiment. So this is what I originally did with scene kit, um, where we can actually model this experiment in real life. So if you look at where I'm going here, I can go to where the experiment was, which was around here. I need to go about three meters away. And then I click enter AR model. And you can see we've actually got the model in real life. Well, not in real life, in augmented reality. And you can see I kind of, kind of look around it see where the ball's going to land over here. You can look, oh, hello, cameraman. Um, you can look around like this. 
And then you can also change the parameters as well. So I can make the angle difference. So different groups have different parameters. So that's quite useful for seeing how it would affect the result. You can also change the height. Now, because this is simulated so I can match it exactly, the tube's going to be at the same height as the iPad. So as I increase the height off the ground, it's actually going to go in the floor. Um, and you can see it's going to speed up because it's mapping the speed. And I can also change the angle, so I can make it go really far. I can change the length of the tube, which makes it go really far away. You can see it goes much quicker as well. And I had some fun with this, actually, making massive models, which I might overlay over the top in different parks, where you can see that it goes massive and you can model it in really strange scenarios that wouldn't actually be possible with the experimental setup we had in real life, which is quite cool. Yeah, so then there's just a slide showing a bit more about um, the experiment and how I used the model on top um, to show where the ball was travelling. And it matched, exact like, it matched exactly, which was really cool um, and really nice. Um, and it made for a really nice project, which you uh, might overlay some footage of it um, here. And then you can see I also showed the scene kit model. The app wasn't developed um, at a university open day, which was nice, so they could see kind of what engineering was about and what kind of projects we were doing. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be putting the um, project on GitHub after the submission deadline so you can try it for yourself. Bye.